everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick video. I'm sure some of you are surprised to actually hear my voice. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I don't usually talk, but I'm really excited about our new Stampin' Blends alcohol markers and I wanted to actually talk to you about them a little bit. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is all the beautiful colors. We currently have 27 color markers available, a light and a dark in each of 12 colors, as well as the ivory and the bronze marker, and the 27th is our color lifter. Uh, these are our exclusive colors, which means they'll coordinate perfectly with the rest of our color products. And I was playing with the colors today, working on my blending technique, and I love the way they look, especially when they're all laid out here together. I think our color selection is great. We have a couple of nice neutrals with the smoky slate and the crumb cake. And Old Olive is one of my favorite greens, so I was really happy to see it included. And then we have a really nice selection of other colors, which work really well either on their own or paired with each other. Uh, these markers are artist quality, and there's a few helpful features which I want to point out. The first is that they're dual tipped. There's a brush tip for coloring in larger areas, and a fine tip which is perfect when you want to color with more precision. And it's helpful that the tips are printed right here on the barrel of the pen too because there's no guessing when you go to pull the lid off. Another feature that I really like is that the lids will click when you close them so you know that the lid is sealed and that will prevent the alcohol in them from evaporating. I want to do a quick bit of coloring to show you how easy these markers are to use and how beautifully you can blend with them. I stamped this balloon image earlier and I used the Tuxedo Black Memento Ink Pad, which is the pad we recommend when using the Stampin' Blends markers. These markers are a little juicy, but once it's dry, the impressions that you stamp with this ink are water resistant so that your images won't run or smear. Um, when you're using the markers, it's a really good idea to make sure that your work surface is protected with scratch paper because they can bleed through the paper. Um, it's also recommended that you use our Whisper White or very vanilla thick cardstock for the best results. But I did try them out on some different papers today and I got some really good results. So it's okay to try different things and see what you like best. This particular image is stamped on the Whisper White thick cardstock. Um, I'm only working with one balloon for this project, but one thing you'll want to remember if you're working with either a large image or with several small images, um, the colors blend best when they're wet. So on a larger image, you'll want to work in small sections. Um, if you're coloring multiple image, complete one image at a time. When you're using the markers, you can start with either the light or the dark. I prefer to start with the dark one and I want to start by coloring the areas of the image that are either already shadowed or that I want to be shadowed. So let's do this. I'm going to have this side of my balloon be shadowed and we'll make that line a little bit thicker and then I also want to add some shadowing here at the bottom and I'm going to blend it and it's going to be easiest for me to blend it if I don't have a real straight line right here. So now I'm going to add the light color and the first thing I want to do is just finish coloring the rest of the image. So I'm going to go around the edge here and then fill in the rest of my image like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start blending. And the way I like to do it is I'm gonna take my, my lighter color and I'm just gonna, in a circular motion, I'm gonna work between the dark and the light color. And just keep working in that circular motion until I have blended out the line between the two. I've got a lot of light section up here still, so I'm going to go over that a little bit again. But I also want to leave a little area that I'm going to um, highlight later. So 
you just keep working the color until you get it the way you want it to look. And that'll dry a little bit more there too and fill out a little bit more of the color. All right, now I'm gonna go with my color lifter and the little area here that I left, I'm gonna go over that some. And actually I think I'm gonna use the fine tip for that. But I'm just gonna go over that area some more and pull out some of that color some more of that color and create a little highlight there on my balloon. So it looks like that. That's how easy the color lifter is to use. All right, um, this particular stamp set has this really fun little uh, image that you can add some more texture and um, shadow to. So I wanted to add that on here. And I, when I was playing with it earlier today, I found that it was actually easier to color in my image first and then add this. So I'm gonna ink this up. And I wanna take some of the color off, so I'm gonna stamp it over here on my scratch paper. And then stamp it on top of my image. And it just adds even more uh, texture to that balloon. All right. Here is my finished card. And what I did on here is I just added a couple layers and a sprinkling of Wink of Stella because I love that little extra little bit of sparkle and a couple sequins to finish it up. If you want to try these great markers on your own, um, my November online class is now available. This class includes four sets of the markers that includes Old Olive and Crumb Cake, the Pink Pirouette, and the um, Pool Party is the other one. So you'll get the four sets of markers. Um, and then we're using the stamp set, which I don't have over here right now, but it is the Color Me Happy. Um, yeah. The Color Me Happy stamp set, um, which is a great set. It's it's all line images, so it's a really perfect set for learning to use the markers. Um, when you purchase these products, I'm going to send you everything you need to, and I'm going to give you guys a little preview of this because I haven't shown these actually in real life. So this is the cards that you're going to get to make um, with my November online kit. You get to make this little thank you card, um, this really pretty one with the flowers, and one with the... Uh, lanterns which is really fun and then this one's my favorite with one of those little birds so you'll get all the paper products you need to make all these four projects and I'll send you a PDF with really easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions and uh, uh, my PDFs also have a lot of pictures so they'll it'll be really easy for you to follow along and complete your projects um, if you'd like more information on my November online class you can visit my website at pocketfullofstamps.com and search for the November online class. Thanks again for joining me uh, to watch this video. Until next time, happy stamping!